Please subscribe to my channel, Audio Novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. Thank you. Chapter 113, Henquake Axe. Kuo Yuhao and Wang Dong were both disappointed as they heard Xu Sanshai's words. If the mysterious underworld displacement could be used when they unleashed their martial soul fusion skill, it would be a great strategy in a team battle. All right, don't be like this anymore. At such a young age, the both of you managed to turn the tide in a critical situation. What more do you want? Teacher Wang won't even allow me to ask you what your martial fusion skill is. However, I saw it that day. Powerful. I would like to try it if there's an opportunity. Wang Dong laughed, Brother Xu, do you want to try one or two? Xu Sanshai snapped, nonsense, obviously one. Do you want me to die? As he spoke till this point, he revealed a dash of craftiness on his face and continued, do the two of you want to see what's going on in the individual round? But you must both fully recover first. Kuo Yuhao and Wang Dong turned to look at each other, and they could see that they were both starting to become excited. The Star Luo National Academy had conceded defeat, and would not be participating in the individual round. That's why today's match was between the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy and the Imperial Profound Academy. Although Wang Yan did describe how the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy had competed, they had not seen it for themselves. Furthermore, the individual round wouldn't take up too much of their time. Kuo Yu Hao said, Xu Sanshai, it's just the three of us? Xu Sanshai chortled. Three of us is enough. Why do we need so many people? Ben Senior Dai are both still recuperating from their injuries. Yu Hao, did Senior Ma do anything to you yesterday? Kuo Yu Hao shook his head and replied, Elder Sister treated me very well. Xu Sanshai revealed the same look as Wang Dong earlier, Elder Sister? You're good. Your progress is quick. Kuo Yu Hao rolled his eyes and said, Brother Xu, we've only acknowledged each other as siblings. She said that if anyone dares to bully me. He he, you know. Xu Sanshai shivered. You've benefited. Does it matter whether it's your elder sister or younger sister? Let's rush, we don't have much time left. Let's go. Kuo Yu Hao, Wang Dong and Xu Sanshai crept out of the hotel as they were driven by their curiosity. As members of Shrek Academy and finalists of the tournament, they managed to enter the competition venue through the corridor for team members. At this point, the Imperial Profound Academy and Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy had both entered the competition venue too. While they were in the resting area, the attention of the members of both academies were drawn towards the three of them as they approached. The resting area for Shrek Academy was not empty either. Wang Yan was sitting there. His brows furrowed as he saw the three of them walking over. Teacher Wang. Xu Sanshai brought Huo Yu Hao and Wang Dong to the Shrek Academy's resting area before greeting Wang Yan. Wang Yan said, Aren't all of you supposed to be resting? Why are all of you here? Yu Hao, are you fine? Kuo Yu Hao shook his head and replied, Teacher Wang, don't worry. I have suppressed Senior's evil fire. He did not call her elder sister anymore because he did not want to be interrogated anymore. It was best if he said it to everyone once they were gathered. Wang Yan said, All right then. Since this is the case, let's all watch together. The three of them sat beside him, and Xu Sanshai asked curiously, Teacher Wang, what happened yesterday? I only heard that it was an overwhelming victory. How did the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering manage to do it? Wang Yan revealed a bitter smile on his face and replied, Do you know why I didn't allow all of you to watch them compete? The look in Xu Sanshai's eyes changed a little. Were you afraid of shaking our confidence? Wang Yan was stunned as he replied, you ass smart. However, this is only one of the reasons. Another reason is that there's no point in watching them compete. His tone became more serious as he continued, the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy is obviously very prepared for this tournament. 
Let me clarify this point. Since they are our biggest rival, I have been monitoring them ever since the tournament started, and watched almost every round that they have competed in. But do you know what I discovered? They have never used the same strategy in each round of the competition, especially during the team matches. Tell me what's the point of watching them then? It'll only shake your confidence. Their team leader, Mario Long, competed yesterday. He was impeccable. He used two class 7 soul tools to suppress the entire Imperial Profound Academy. The other six simply used soul tool fortresses. Think about what kind of scene you will see when six soul tool fortresses are fired at the same time. The entire competition stage was raging with attacks. The Imperial Profound Academy was forced off the competition stage by the frightening firepower before they could even display their true abilities. Their soul emperor was struck the moment he stepped forward and was knocked out of the competition stage. The competition ended after that. After hearing Wang Yan's description, Kuo Yu Hao's and the other two's expressions changed. Although they had expected them to dominate, they didn't expect them to be so dominant. If this was the case, how would they fight? Wang Yan continued, after seeing yesterday's team match, I think that it doesn't matter anymore. We'll just do our best in the final. Xisanshai asks in a low voice, Teacher Wang, do you think our main team members would have a chance if they came to participate in this tournament? Wang Yan replied after pondering for a while, it'd be difficult for them. Xisanshai heaved a sigh of relief and said, since this is the case, don't think too much about it anymore. Didn't you mention before that we've already completed our mission by making it to this stage? Whether we win or lose in the future, we've earned it. Since we only have one round left, so what if we lose, as long as we give our all? Moreover, it's not our first time creating a miracle. We are Shrek. Wang Yan smiled and said, you are quite open-minded. I will be relieved if all of you carry such a mentality when you compete. Regardless of whether it's the academy or me, we won't bother too much about the result. But if we lose, the public's opinion will bear on all of you. As all of you are still young, I'm afraid that you won't be able to bounce back from the setback. If that happens, I will be a sinner in Shrek size. Xisanshai laughed. No way. Teacher Wang, you are thinking too much. The Academy gave us this chance because we are all determined and resilient. Furthermore, we can just return to the Academy immediately if we lose. Don't tell me that there will be people in the Academy who will spout gibberish. As they spoke, the referee had already arrived on the stage. The Star Luo Emperor was also here to observe the competition on top of the city wall. Princess Juju, who lost to them yesterday, was also standing beside the Star Luo Emperor. Kyo Yu Hao could sense someone observing him, and he lifted his head subconsciously. He saw Princess Juju glancing at him. Her ravishing face seemed to be filled with frustration, but this could only be noticed by Kyo Yu Hao because of his spirit eyes. The others beside him didn't notice this. On top of the city wall. Brother, I'm indignant. We were supposed to be able to win. Princess Juju protested. The Star Luo Emperor smiled and said, what's there to be indignant about? It's a fact that you lost. Princess Juju was unconvinced as she said, but I didn't get to use my strongest skill. The Star Luo Emperor said, but it's not that you didn't want to use it. Furthermore, it might not have changed the result even if you had. Even if Yuo Yu Hao and Wang Dong didn't unleash the soul skill that suppressed the Star Crown, do you think that all of you could have defeated that phoenix together? Mark Si Tao's martial soul is the evil fire phoenix, and she's the descendant of Ma Hong Jun, who belonged to the first generation of Shrek's seven monsters. She's a rank 67 soul emperor, and her cultivation is the best among everyone in this tournament. You saw what happened yesterday too. Even when three soul kings teamed up together, they couldn't challenge her. Would all of you have won if you were tired? And that would be even worse in the individual round. 
all of you had no chance with Mark Seatown dying around. It's still about the difference in power. While Shrek Academy did not send its strongest lineup this time, no one can underestimate their foundation. I am excited to see how things will pan out when that young fellow grows up five years later. Princess Juju snorted and said, I don't know how it'll be like five years later, but they'll likely leave this tournament in the humiliation of failure. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy is too powerful. They have also prepared very sufficiently for this edition of the tournament. Shrek Academy has also appeared with problems. Even if their entire official team competes, they may not have a chance at all. The Star Luo Emperor laughed and said, Younger sister, you are too concerned about the result of this tournament. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy is like you, taking this tournament too seriously. At the same time, both you and the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy are taking fame and fortune too seriously. That's why you reckon that the Shrek Academy has made a wrong move. In reality, I think they are doing what they are doing because of a deeper meaning. Princess Juju was puzzled as she asked, deeper meaning? The Star Luo Emperor asked in a low voice, Juju, what do you think about our Xa family's powers? Princess Juju, who was also called Xa Juju, replied without any hesitation, we are very powerful. We were only able to lead the Empire's troops to force our enemies out and disintegrate the Duke's mansion bloodline to become the leader of this empire because of our family's power. It's very rare to see huge clans like Argza family in the continent now. Even when the Martial Soul Hall behaved atrociously then, they couldn't do anything to us. The Star Luo Emperor nodded and said, You're right. Argza family is very powerful. But why did we only making our move when the empire was in trouble? It's not just because a wise man looks after his own hide. We did it more for the accumulation of strength. However, our Xa family has been getting smaller over the past few thousand years. In our generation, it's only you and I that have inherited the star crown. Now, think about Shrek Academy's foundation. Shrek Academy has been growing over the past 10,000 years, and they have also secretly done a lot of for the continent. Many huge empires are afraid of them too. However, who do you think is truly aware of Shrek Academy's depth? And would such an established academy make such a stupid error? Furthermore, Shrek Academy can send another group of official team members if they wanted to. Shrek Academy is never devoid of talents. Princess Juju asked doubtfully, Brother, are you saying that Shrek Academy does not value the tournament? The Star Luo Emperor, Xujiai, shook his head and replied, Number. Shrek Academy might not care about the tournament, but I'm sure that they value this batch of young students a lot. Many people miss out on a few things because of their low cultivations, but those who are keen eyed can tell their talents. Shrek Academy might have forsaken the chance to become the tournament champion in order to train them up. Losing the tournament isn't scary. The scary thing is if there are no successors. I have watched Shrek Academy competing in every round. I can fairly say that every one of their students has their own special trait. If they can progress rapidly, given 5 to 10 years, Shrek Academy will have a bright future, and that'll be even more frightening. When he reached this point, Xujiwai stopped and turned his attention to the distance, younger sister, you must remember this. With the strength of their academy, they once led the three empires on the continent to retaliate against the invading Sun Moon Empire. They even resisted the wave of beasts from Stardew Forest. Without them as a stabilizing force at the border between our empire and the Heavenly Soul Empire, the Sun Moon Empire would have made their move already. All right, let's watch the competition. At this point, the competition had already started. One might wonder whether the Imperial Profound Academy had become angry from embarrassment. The first member to compete was their team leader, who was a Soul Emperor. He was also the one who drawn the lots for them yesterday. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy sent a tall and thin youth up. 
inside the resting area, Wang Yan introduced the both of them to Huo Yuhao and the others with great familiarity. Imperial Profound Academy Team Leader. His name is Jiang Peng, and he's a soul emperor. His soul power is between rank 61 and rank 62, and he is the first in the Imperial Profound Academy history to become a soul emperor before reaching 20. Because of this, he's also very arrogant. His martial soul is a handquake axe, which is very powerful. Amongst all the assault type martial souls, I only know Wang Dong's clear sky hammer that can suppress his martial soul. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy has sent one of their official team members up. His name is Michael, and he is a class 5 soul engineer. He has many strategies, and I have no way of appraising him. In the previous rounds, he would fight almost every time. He is a very stable person, and has never once made a mistake when competing. Wang Yan's claim that he had never made any mistakes so far was already a positive appraisal on its own. As he was introducing them, the battle had already commenced on stage. Michael had already let out a series of metallic clangs just as the referee shouted to signal the start of the competition. A bright blue slab of metal rapidly appeared from his back and covered his entire body. It was as if he was wearing a suit of armor over his body. Slabs of metal also appeared from his waist and legs. After all the bright blue slabs of metal covered his entire body, Jiang Peng had already rushed beyond the halfway line. Michael was wearing a suit of heavy armor. After donning the armor, his body seemed to have expanded by about three circles. The bright blue metal flashed, and a ball of white light shone from both his chest and belly. It was very obvious that these were the core formations of this soul tool of his. A soul tool that covered his entire body? Kuo Yuhao opened his eyes wide and observed seriously. He had never seen this soul tool before. But Fanya had once mentioned that the highest class close combat soul tool was the most primitive armor in the Sun Moon Empire. However, this type of soul tool couldn't be appraised using simple armors. Its presence greatly increased the user's offensive and defensive abilities. It could even amplify the user's cultivation. Soul engineers' martial souls were usually defective. But a soul engineer could unleash the powers of assault type soul masters with this type of full body armor. Thus, it was a pity that the Shrek Academy's soul engineering department had experienced some issues with their current research. They had no experience in producing this kind of full body armor. They didn't expect to see it in this tournament. Blue light flashed in Michael's hands, and a huge sword that was the same color as the armor on his body appeared in his palm. The sword's radiance was even brighter than that of his armor, and the core formation at the edge of the sword released halos of blue light. As Michael completed all this, his opponent was already in front of him. Jiang Peng deserved to be called the most outstanding student in the Imperial Profound Academy's history. He did not unleash his martial soul when he burst towards his opponent. That was because his martial soul would cause his speed to decrease. It was only when he reached his opponent that he unleashed his martial soul. Six soul rings, two yellow, two purple and two black, rose from beneath his feet instantaneously. A reverberating boom that sounded like lightning resonated in the sky. Following Jiang Peng's leaping movement, a streak of huge, ferocious radiance had already descended from the sky. It was a huge axe. The axe was roughly five feet in length. But the scary thing was that the axe blade was over five feet in width as well. The axe blade was pitch black, and exuded a cold aura. Its immense destructive strength could be sensed just by looking at it. Grabbing the axe with both his hands, Jiang Peng slashed it without using any soul skills. The handquake axe reverberated with a menacing roar. It was slashed towards Michael's head, aided by its falling momentum. Michael did not panic, and he slid his feet slightly so that he moved back by a meter. At the same time, his full body armor flashed with an intense blue radiance, which connected with the sword in his hand. As he held the sword's hilt with both hands, 
He made an upward slashing motion. It was clear that he had practiced this action countless times. There was no fanciness involved. It was simple, direct and accurate. He was not targeting the axe blade, but instead used his sword's seven foot length to sweep towards his opponent's axe handle. Jiang Peng snorted, and his downward slashing motion stopped in midair. He instead swept his axe across horizontally, causing it to collide strongly against the sword. Michael staggered backwards as a booming roar sounded. Jiang Peng's momentum was also stopped, and his body shone with a series of electrical lights. Kuo Yuha immediately understood that Michael's armor and sword should carry the effect of lightning. It was not rare for close combat soul tools to carry elemental effects. He was, however, shocked by Michael's powers. This was evidently due to the enhancement by the soul tool. With the soul tool enhancing his powers, he was not much inferior to a strength type soul emperor as a soul king. This showed the great enhancement effect of this soul tool on him. Wang Yan's description also left Huo Yu Hao even more shocked. Wang Yan said, in the earlier rounds, Michael also displayed his long range offensive abilities. This is his first time using a close combat soul tool. Wang Yan's explanation caused Huo Yu Hao to be stunned. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy's abilities had reached such a tremendous standard. However, Michael also did not feel good after being struck by the axe. He did not manage to chase after Jiang Peng, who was suffering from numbness all over his body. Both of them stopped on the competition stage for a while. Following that, Michael did not continue to fight forcefully. The bright blue radiance behind him shone even brighter and his body picked up speed. He burst out a few meters before his toes touched the ground. Then, he switched directions at a 90 degree angle, but his speed did not decline. He burst towards the center of the competition stage. Jiang Peng's arrogance had dipped a little by now. He naturally knew the importance of this round to the Imperial Profound Academy. He did not compete first because he was reckless. He had pondered his decision carefully before making it. Only if he managed to get rid of a few opponents could they have a chance of winning today's individual competition. This was also why he did not use his soul skill when he came up. He needed to conserve his soul power and abilities so that he could last longer. However, Michael was much stronger than he had expected. He was a soul king and it was obvious that his cultivation wasn't increased solely through his own training. His foundation was not as deep as an orthodox soul master's. But it was precisely this soul king that was not at a disadvantage after he met his strike as he wore the armor. Total body numbness was not a good feeling. Jiang Peng knew that he could no longer hold back anymore. Otherwise, he would be at a disadvantage the longer his opponent remained standing. As he thought till this point, his third soul ring lit up as he turned. The purple thousand year soul ring emitted an elegant glow while the heavenquake axe had already moved amidst a series of booming air blasts. This heavenquake axe was deservedly termed a powerful attack type soul tool by Wang Yan. After it struck, the huge axe revolved in the air like a huge light disc that emitted a cold radiance. A dark, full moon descended from the sky. It managed to catch up to Michael's sprinting figure in the blink of an eye. Kuo Yu Hao saw it clearly this time. Both his armor and sword released an intense blue lightning current as he drew his sword. The current did not disperse, but quickly gathered towards the tip of the sword before being unleashed brutally once again. Lightning was very unstable. For this soul tool to seal the powers of lightning and unleash it with such precise control, Kuo Yu Hao was a little uncertain of how to describe this soul tool anymore. He believed that it was not only a class 5 soul tool, and might not have been produced by Michael himself. This was especially so because the sword released a lightning radiance that almost seemed solid. When it was used, it even felt as if there was a flow or wave. However, Michael had miscalculated this time. Jiang Peng waved both his hands in the distance, 
and the originally fierce Henquake axe changed suddenly directions in the air. It drew a weird looking arc and swung behind Michael instantly. The axe blade slashed down heavily. Michael's reaction was not slow. He leapt forward immediately when he realized that things were amiss. The soul thruster behind his armor was unleashed at full power. But it was no longer just a driving force now. Rather, it shot out a powerful light towards the back that attempted to resist the strike of the Henquake axe. But a soul emperor was a soul emperor. This soul tool on Michael's body was very strong, but Jiang Peng was no easy opponent either. After all, he was the top talent in the Imperial Mystical Academy's history. Upon closer examination, it was possible to discover that Jiang Peng's yellow first soul ring was flashing with a subtle radiance. This radiance was very special, and wasn't just like the kind of radiance emitted by Soul Master's martial souls. It was delicate, and flashed with a frequency that resembled the rate of a heartbeat. Jiang Peng had never used his first soul skill before in previous rounds. Generally speaking, Soul Master's soul skills were usually more powerful the later they were obtained. That was because the added limit would be greater. But Jiang Peng was special in a certain aspect. His first soul skill was not used for any direct attack or offense. It was a control type soul skill that was used to control his martial soul. The Henquake Axe was an extremely tough assault type martial soul and it also carried a powerful destructive capability. It could be compared with Wang Dong's clear sky hammer. Its destructive strength was still very frightening without even using a soul skill. When Jiang Peng had fused with his first soul ring, he had accidentally chosen the wrong soul beast. This had led to his possession of this control type soul skill. But with his intelligence and solid foundation, he managed to progress in another way under the guidance of the Imperial Mystical Academy's teachers. He invented a special offense, which he called the 18 Dragon Slaying Slashes. The strength of this 18 Dragon Slaying Slashes was that it wasn't a soul skill. It was better than a soul skill, and could be combined with other soul skills. With the control of the first soul ring. He could enable the Hemquake Axe to strike consecutively for a maximum of 18 times. This was the first time this killer move had been demonstrated in the individual matches. Bang! In front of the Hemquake Axe, the light shot out by the Soul Thruster was instantly split, and the axe struck Michael's back heavily. In the next moment after the Hemquake Axe struck, a dull explosion sound rang out. The impact caused Michael to be pushed forward. Concussive Explosion This was the destructive ability that the Handquake Axe carried. Along with its immense weight, this strike was very heavy. It was clear that the armor behind Michael had been struck till it bent inwards. The piercing axe continued to advance, and Michael spat out fresh blood. He staggered as he fell forward. It was not that Jiang Peng was extremely strong. It was just that the changes to his strikes were too special. It was different from what the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy knew about Jiang Peng. Michael was at a great disadvantage now. The Hankwake Axe, however, did not care. The fury that Jiang Peng had restrained in the team competition yesterday was unleashed right now. The Hankwake Axe slashed toward the same area it had previously struck with an ear piercing boom. Michael's armor should be proud of itself for being able to resist the Hemquake Axe's first blow. But the concussive explosion it had brought with it couldn't be shaken off so easily. If it was unleashed once more, he would be heavily injured, if not killed. The referee intervened in time and blocked the Hemquake Axe in the air. He also announced the end of the competition. Jiang Peng recalled his martial soul. Turning around. He hooked his finger towards the Sun Moon Academy team in the waiting area with a cold and arrogant look on his face. Xiao Hongjin made a swishing sound as he stood up. He was about to ascend to the stage, but was stopped by Ma Yulong. Xiao Hongjin glared at him, but Ma Yulong shook his head and shot him a look. After that, he walked up to the stage himself. During the team round, 
using a sole tool as a team would achieve an appreciable effect. But in the individual rounds, it was difficult to use a sole tool to make up for the gap between a sole king and sole emperor. It's important to know that Jiang Peng was not just an ordinary sole emperor, but a talent nurtured by the Imperial Mystical Academy. They had gathered all their resources to nurture him, and he was no longer conserving his power at this critical moment. Michael was sent to compete first, but not with the hope of defeating Jiang Peng. His purpose was to deplete some of his soul power. However, it seemed like the Sun Moon Imperial Engineering Academy would be the one at a disadvantage if this continued. Wang Yan's eyes shifted a little as he saw Michael being defeated. He thought of something in his heart. Although the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy's soul tools were very powerful, the powers of a soul engineer could be said to rely entirely on soul tools. Against an elite soul master in a restricted competition stage, they would not confer him much of an advantage. Jiang Peng had forced Ma Yulong to compete. To the observers, this was a good thing. To a certain extent, the abilities and methods of this the Sun Moon Academy team leader would be the key to victory in the finals. Jiang Peng was slightly petrified as he saw that Ma Yulong was the next to compete. He squinted his eyes as he held the handquake axe. If he could defeat Ma Yulong, the Imperial Mystical Academy might really have a chance of turning the tide. This battle would be extremely crucial. I will defeat you. Jiang Peng pointed his handquake axe at Ma Yulong. He was trying to provoke him. Ma Yulong laughed gently, do you think this will provoke me? The two of them retreated to the edges of the competition stage as they spoke. Jiang Peng snorted, Ma Yulong, I will let you realize that soul engineers like you who exploit external powers will never be comparable to soul masters like myself that work hard to fulfill our potential. You will be defeated under my axe just like the one just now. Ma Yulong shook his head and said, Michael didn't unleash his full abilities. It doesn't mean that a soul master is better than a soul engineer just because you defeated him. Michael didn't use any soul tools that he developed himself. His abilities were not truly unleashed to fight you. One understands himself best, thus a soul engineer is only at his peak state when he uses his own soul tools. I created every soul tool I use. I will show you what a true soul engineer is. Jiang Peng snorted. I'd be a fool if I believed you. Did you make the class 7 soul tool that you used too? I have no need to lie to you. Ma Yulong said indifferently. At this point, they had already reached the edges of the competition stage. As the referee shouted, match, start. A huge battle ensued. Jiang Peng burst forward towards Ma Yulong like before. Ma Yulong lifted his right hand and it was clear to see that there was a silver ring on each of his fingers. The first ring flashed, and a metal barrel that was around 1.5 meters long and 10 centimeters wide appeared in his palm. He then lifted it to his shoulder, and unleashed his martial soul. The release of Ma Yulong's martial soul caused his body to experience weird changes, and his head suddenly ballooned. It was obvious that it was no longer aligned with his body. Even his hair seemed to become sparse. He looked ugly amidst this bizarreness. His martial soul was called the Big Headed Spirit Ape, an auxiliary type martial soul. He was doing this to unleash greater power and last longer like most soul engineers did. Ma Yulong's soul skill was also used to aid the increase of his soul power or to enhance the outburst of his soul power. This was also an important reason why he could create a class 7 soul tool that was beyond his level. Ma Yulong was an absolute genius in the production of soul tools in Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. If not for his lacking cultivation, he would already qualify to be a class 7 soul engineer. Six soul rings, two yellow, two purple and two black, appeared at the same time. The silver barrel also emitted an intense radiance in the next instant. A silvery ball of light shot toward Jiang Peng, who was rushing over. 
The light ball was flying at an immense speed and had nearly reached Jiang Pen when it flashed with radiance. Jiang Peng's attention was entirely focused on Ma Yulong's body, and he was naturally wary. He dodged immediately as he saw Ma Yulong attacking. Three figures formed as the radiance from his second soul ring flashed. The two figures at the side lurched forward quickly, while the center figure that faced the silver light ball jumped up and tried to dodge the attack. However, Ma Yulong seemed to have expected that. Jiang Peng's adaptation seemed to be for naught. After the silver light ball suddenly stopped, a violent explosion sounded in the next moment. Intense silver light filled the entire competition stage. All the spectators in Star Luo Plaza instantly shut their eyes because of the intense light. Although Jiang Peng had divided into three figures, he still bore the brunt of the attack, and screamed in pain under the intense silver light. As he shut his eyes rapidly, everything had already turned white in front of him. Please subscribe to my channel, Audio Novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. Thank you.